Hello, Altersgate UMC church family and friends. Pastor Randy here with the Daily Devotion. And um, I don't know about you, but this weekend uh, has been a little disconcerting with some of the new news, finding out that we uh, likely will not be able to gather again in person for worship until the uh, end of the month or through the end of the month. And um, some of the other numbers that are coming out. So today, uh, with our devotion, I'd like to share with you just a few moments about finding uh, some peace in the midst of the storm that we find ourselves in. And uh, it reminds me of the story of Jesus calming the storm that's taken from Luke chapter 8. It says this, One day Jesus said to his disciples, Let us go over to the other side of the lake. So they got into a boat and set out. As they sailed, he fell asleep. A squall came down on the lake so that the boat was being swamped and they were in great danger. The disciples went and woke him up saying, Master, Master, we're going to drown. It's almost like they were saying, don't you care about us? He got up and rebuked the wind and the raging waters. The storm subsided and all was calm. Where is your faith? He asked his disciples. In fear and amazement, they asked one another, who is this? He commands even the winds and the water and they obey him. I'm sure you're a bit like me right now and uh, just kind of feeling like uh, there's a storm that's going on and uh, the times are so uncertain and unsure and uh, we're just not quite sure what to do with these times we're living in. However, we know there are things that can take place that we can have the storm calmed in our heart, but also we can have that storm calmed in the hearts of others by our prayers, through words of encouragement, phone calls, uh, reaching out to people and letting them know that we're thinking of them. We want you to stay safe. We want you to be well. And uh, if you have any particular needs, please let us know here at the church and we will do whatever we can to try to help meet those needs. In the midst of this storm, I find it really comforting to think about uh, the shepherd's prayer, the Lord's uh, prayer also, but mainly today, Psalm 23. And so I'd like to ask you to share that with me as we close our time of devotion today. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Say it wherever you are. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. One bit of good news I'd like to share with you. We have a lot of food that's piled up out here at Bend 3, and today we're going to be making a run over to Rising Hope with this food. We're going to take a picture of all of it later, and uh, we'll let you see. Thank you for your donations, your contributions, and uh, just helping to calm the storm in others' lives as they're wondering where their next meal will come from. God bless and be with you. Amen.